So yeah, go ahead and just give your name and um, who you've been working with. Uh, okay, my name is Kurt Thompson. Um, I've been working with Adam and Unleash Kids uh, the past few months, uh, mainly doing social media coordinating and uh, uh, also anything else that I can do, um, resizing PDFs or uh, my background is internal support uh, and client-facing support, IT support, so uh, I have a pretty wide skill set um, I'm hoping to, to be able to use more um, in Haiti. What, what first got you involved with the project? Uh, I had heard about One Laptop Per Child years ago, um, but uh, essentially I was too poor and too busy <laughs> to get involved, so um, once I graduated from university, I uh, just was thinking about how to spend my time, went on the uh, OLPC website, I found it, found how can I volunteer section and just sent off an email saying, you know, I have, I have a sort of background in IT and if I can help let me know and uh, that email reached Adam who set up a Skype call and uh, yeah got me and started with uh, social media coordination and on the support email lists and stuff like that. Cool and then what do you see the future being for this grand project? Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure I uh, I think there's a lot of people who are worried a lot about what the next device is or or something like that at it I don't see that as such an important question as, uh, you know, where can we get the devices that we do have and how can we use those better. So um, in the short term, um, I'd just like to see more, especially in Haiti, it seems to be what we're focusing on at, with Unleash Kids. Uh, I'd like to see more deployments and a better support network for the deployments that are down there. Um, I know it's just starting out, so of course <clears throat> it's going to start out. Uh, the beginning of a project is always going to be more framework, but uh, yeah, I think if we can get more deployments, even with the current soft, uh, the current hardware, uh, trying to build up a teacher system, some kind of system where the uh, the Haitians can develop themselves the system of educating people, technology education and regular education uh, through the devices that we're bringing down there. I think that's going to be a um, a good sort of short-term goal, at least. Cool. And then what advice would you have or, uh, for other people that are thinking about volunteering or what would you say to them? Uh, I would say we need, it. we need a few different kinds of people. So most likely you have some skill that we need. Um, we need people to get the word out. Uh, we need people to just go and take pictures, uh, you know, and put those on Facebook or whatever and talk about it. Uh, we also need people who are uh, technologically capable who understand, have some basic understanding of IT or programming, um, who can also talk to teachers, who have some idea of, of uh, how to teach a teacher, how to teach a kid. Um, and then the third one is we need infrastructure people, so people to actually set up uh, the solar panels, to set up the, uh, the laptops and the servers and all that. So most likely, if you've, if you've worked at all, um, you've had to deal with some aspect of those. And uh, most likely, uh, most likely some skill that you have is going to be useful if you're thinking about volunteering. And then like on a personal level when you started volunteering what did you think that you would get out of it in, in terms of like what might you learn or what might kind of difference do you think you might be able to make? Uh, well yeah myself I always joke that I, I wish I could stay in school forever. Um, it just uh, the volunteering is just sort of a constant stream of challenges to overcome so uh, you know, I'll learn a lot. Uh, I've, I've learned uh, quite a bit so far. Um, I'm hoping to learn even more um, in-depth knowledge. I mean, it's, um, it's going to help in a lot of different areas, not only just for my own personal development, but I mean, I'm sure those skills may translate into better jobs or something like that, or maybe even more importantly, uh, changing the life of somebody who is uh, down there from, you know, uh, so myself, I came from a pretty poor background. It was my interest in technology that basically brought me out of that uh, background. If I can help somebody else to uh, go down the same path, somebody with the potential to go down the same path to do that, then um, yeah, that's just going to be a great, a great feeling. So there are a lot of different ways that I think you can benefit from, from volunteering. Excellent.